Hello, Miss Zaza. How may I help you? Hello, Mr. Absolute. I've got a problem here. Ah, okay. Let me help you. Come, share with me. I need a door for my BTO. You have any recommendation for me? Absolutely. Okay, see you in a bit. Okay. Bye. Audio jam. Hey, sorry, Mr. Absolute. I'm late. Don't worry, Miss Zaza. I'm just early. Okay, today we're going to choose your bedroom, mm -hmm. your bathroom, and your kitchen door. There's a wide selection of doors for you to choose. But let me introduce you these four popular ones. Okay? Come, take a look. Mm -hmm. There's Classic. Classic. There's Vernier. Vernier. There's Solid Timber. Okay, solid. And also this one, uh, Melamide. Wow, oh, so many. So what's the difference between them? Absolutely good question. Okay, let me introduce to you. For the classic one, it's hollow, it's lowest in cost, but not durable. As for the timber, it's for country and uh, European style. Uh -huh. mm. And for the vernier, it's hollow, and you also have uh, the solid one, uh -huh. but difficult to maintain. Uh -huh. Come on, come, let me show you this. This is the melamine wood. Wow. Mm. Okay, this is the latest, yeah? Yes, it's scratch, water, and stain resistant and got lots of colour for you to choose. Hmm. Mm, so, which one should I choose? Okay, for my suggestion, I will go with melamine because it goes well with contemporary design. Hmm. Okay, I'll listen to you. We'll go with melamine. Absolutely right. Okay, let's go over to the other side. Okay, okay Ms. Zaza, mm -hmm. now we're going to choose your bathroom door. There's two different selections. One is the aluminum frame door, mm -hmm. which is called a PD door. It comes with a wide selection of colors. And also, it comes with the sliding or the swinging ones. Mm. And the other option will be the modern looking glass door. Ah, okay. So, PD door for my bathroom? Well, you can. Come, take a seat. Okay, I would suggest the glass door. Okay. Because uh, it fits more to my contemporary design mm -hmm. and looks more luxurious and also make the whole space brighter. Glass can see through, right? Ah, that's the whole idea. Ayo, cannot, cannot, cannot. No privacy. <laughs> Absolutely no problem. I'm just kidding with you. We will use the frosted one for your bathroom, okay? Okay, I trust you, Mr. Absolute. Mm -hmm. Miss Azam, I'm here to serve you. I also suggest that you install a glass shower screen so that you can create a dry and wet area for your bathroom so the whole bathroom won't be wet. That's a smart idea, Mr. Absolute. You always think of everything for me. But the shower screen is glass. What if it shatters? I will get hurt. Safe or not? Absolutely safe. We will be using the tempered glass so it will be different from the normal glass and it's stronger. Okay, I trust you, Mr. Absolute. But then, right, my bathroom is not so big. Then how about the door? The door? Don't worry, we will be using the sliding door instead of the swing door, so you can have more space. Ah, okay, okay. Lucky I've got you to help me with my BTO, Mr. Absolute. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Ms. Zaza. Absolutely my pleasure. I make a move first. Okay, see you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye, Ms. Zaza. Do you know why we use tempered glass for our shower screen? Because it's four times stronger, more impact, scratch resistant than the normal glass. As for normal glass, it will break into large, irregular fragments. As for the tempered glass, it will break into small pieces and less sharp edges. So do remember, choose tempered glass for your shower screen. Want to know more? Visit us here.